Welcome back to another another episode of Pastoral Touchpoints, the very uh, low budget production that we continue to put out week in and week out because we're dedicated around here. Dedicated. Um, first, I want to say Happy Cinco de Mayo to all of you Spanish speaking people out there. Uh, this is a mug I picked up down in Mexico with Brian and Lori last year, and I get grief every time I use it, but it's just captivating, and I couldn't not bring it back. So I do pray for people every time I drink out of it, okay? So happy Cinco de Mayo. And um, I know you've been waiting, uh, perhaps even longing, to know how Joe's doing, and um, yeah, he's very anxious to get out of his hospital bed. Trying to get out, but we told him, oh, the glasses. <laughs> Joe, sit down. I'm going to lay him down because he's going to jump out. Yeah, listen, there were some, there were some dicey moments coming through surgery, um, but the doctors pulled him through, and he just demonstrated a real lion's heart uh, yeah. coming out. And so we're proud of him. He'll be back on his feet next week. Yeah, he should be good. We're hoping, hoping and praying. So anyway, I'm not praying. <laughs> All right, uh, Rich, you have something else to announce. Yes, yes. Uh, this is our first event that Pastoral Touch Points is sponsoring. Mm -hmm. We're we're excited about it. We yep. want to bring this to you, and it's Mother's Day celebration drive-through extravaganza. You may be asking, as hundreds or tens are asking. Uh, what does that mean? Well, Wilton, we want to honor, honor Mother's Day, and um, we would invite you uh, to drive by here Sunday, May 10th, which is this Sunday, from 11 to 12, and there is going to be a special treat for the moms, and we want you to come by, and we will give to you the candy bar that you have expected. Uh, you deserve much you more You deserve than much more than that. Uh, but if you are looking for something to do to honor your mom, bring her by the church this Sunday, 11 to 12, to pick up a candy bar in honor of Mother's Day. So it's brought to you by Pastoral Touch Points, yep. sponsored by mm -hmm. Pastoral Touch Points. We want you to uh, to have that to look forward to, something to do in honor of Mother's Day, and uh, we'd love to see you drive by. It'll be under the canopy. We'll be set up for you right out here. Uh, right outside our studio, and uh, we'd love to see you. Ten, uh, I'm sorry, 11 to 12 this Sunday, Mother's Day, okay? You said that. Okay, Thank yeah. You. Taxpayer money at work. All right. Um, now, the Floby Rich, I think, would do you a lot of good for Mother's Day. You could, you know, just impress Terry. It's kind of just taunting you. It's coming towards you. <laughs> do I need to say? Come on, are you going to let me do it? think so. I don't know. I think so. Way to go, Ray Newland and Dan Pierce. Yeah, right. All right. He's feeling the pressure. Two guys who couldn't grow hair if they had to. That's right. Breaking news. I'm getting it in my ear. Rich is going to let me cut his hair with the Floby. It's incredible. Never heard of it. All right. Let's, let's cut to our uh, my Floby hair salon. Okay. All right. Welcome, it's Floby Day, baby. All right, let me introduce you to my tools. You've got the oil, you've got the different guard lengths, We're kind of set up here already. Comb, just to clean them up afterwards. You gotta start with a bowl on top to... <laughs> Rich was asking for a bowl. <laughs> oh, you're making me right nervous. around there. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. <laughs> now here it is, baby. So I'm gonna kick this baby on with the vacuum. It's been fun, everybody. You're gonna get a slow motion shot of this too.
rest of it, we're just going to time lapse because you don't want to watch this for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's impressive. Okay, good. All right, last thing uh, to cover on the touch point for today, and we are just extremely excited about this, and we mentioned it uh, last week, I think, for the first time. Uh, we've been talking about community outreach. We've been talking about this since, you know, for weeks now, and we've been partnering with the food bank and supplying them uh, as best we can. We got a, um, you know, kind of a connection with Hope Within, so we've been working there, uh, but this is something that we're going to drive just solely from our own church, and we're really excited about it. We're calling it the Mount Joy Gift Card Giveaway, and um, yeah, the why are we doing this? Um, if you're wondering why are we in this season uh, buying a bunch of gift cards and getting them out to community members in Mount Joy, I think the answer to that question is... Uh, so many of us, whether you know a small business owner or not, like we just understand the fact that small business owners in particular, ones that don't have the backing of a large corporation, this is a really hard time for them. I'm glad I'm not a small business owner right now. Um, so we want to just encourage and support them. And many of us shop, eat, and some of us even work at some of these places. And uh, as Christians, I think we've got this fundamental understanding that even though this world is not our home, uh, wherever God has planted us and put us, we, we need to be a blessing to our neighbors, love them well, and just you know work towards the betterment of the community. And I think that's uh, that's pleasing in the Lord's sight. And so this is a way that we're gonna you know attempt to do that. So this is it. We're gonna buy a bunch of bunch of gift cards to a bunch of businesses. Rich, you want to touch on the businesses we're targeting? Yeah. Um, as John has said, the main goal is to focus on locally owned and and run by Mount Joy shops here. Um, it's been hard to narrow a little bit of the focus, but we have 23 uh, businesses that we're going to try to visit with these gift cards and hopefully encourage them. I keep thinking about the potential of this. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and as we were reminded, you know, a, a, a gift card here or there uh, may not make or break, but it's the impact and it's just the, the, sh the sign of support and encouragement by uh, challenging people to go use them. Um, Everything from Gus's, uh, Mountjoy Diner, Country Table, Harvey's, 
a lot of restaurants there, um, and then some other things, uh, some bake shops and ice cream shops, higher grounds, Dutch country pretzels, floral designs, a craft factory, barely used, uh, a few barber shops as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know. So, you don't need one of those anymore. I guess I won't. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we're excited about this. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, think about the potential. Think about the opportunity. Think about the fun that is just going to instill into some people's lives when they can uh, come by. Uh, and maybe you want to tell us when that's all going to happen, the details. Yeah, dates. So two things, two dates to keep on your radar. Uh, the first one is a giving deadline. On May 13th, yeah, May 13th is the day we're going to cut off giving and then tally up the amount that we have and then distribute it to those 23 different businesses. Our goal is to raise 2,500. Now, um, from the church budget, we've taken 500 from community benevolence because we feel it's a community benevolence issue, and then 500 from local home evangelism. So we seeded the pot with $1,000 already uh, because those are kind of the two things that are driving it, benevolence for the community and a desire to reach out to our neighbors. And, uh, and then praise the Lord, we've already got $1,000 that have come in so far, and we barely talked about it. So we're just, if it's, our goal is 2,500, but if we reach 5,000, uh, we're gonna divide that up among the 23 businesses and buy those cards and then give them away two at a time. If we get $5,000, perhaps we could have you grow a beard till Christmas. You're gonna have to talk to Rebecca about that one. That's an interesting proposition. It is. I don't know if I'll yeah. mind. I'm going to start that and we'll see how that how right. that runs. Just saying. Just saying. All Teach right. you a lesson. The second date to keep in, in your uh, on your calendars is May 23rd. That's the giveaway day. Yep. So on May 23rd is when we're going to open the church parking lot up and have uh, volunteers potentially from you guys to help serve and just staff that. And uh, that's the day we're going to target to give the gift cards out. So May 13th, giving deadline. May 23rd, giveaway day. Mention that weekend is what else? Memorial Day weekend, that's so right. Memorial Day weekend. All right, Saturday, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Good, all right. So how can people help, Rich? Yes, pray uh, pray that God's reputation is enhanced. That's why we're doing this. That's the foundation. That's the bottom line. Um, we want to make an impact, yes. We want to, to have a, a presence in the community. But listen, it's all about God's reputation, even in the way they... They come when they come on our campus and how the gift cards are handed out. We want all that to focus on, on the reputation of God and why we're doing this. As Jonathan mentioned, give. We are blown away by the amount that's already come in towards this. Um, we just feel that's confirmation that you know it's something we want to do, and you're going to get in behind it. Uh, you can give by writing a check, just indicating on the memo line that it's for the community gift card giveaway. Uh, Roger has set up a realm opportunity give as well. Um, so those are the two of the ways, um, and I think we're going to include this this document in a on Realm as well, so they'll have the details. Yep. Uh, and then serve, uh, as John has said, we'll need volunteers on site on May 23rd just to help. We do not want to cause traffic issues or have problems in the neighborhood with regard to cars and traffic flow. So uh, help with traffic, facilitate the distribution of cards, and, and sign up to come. Love to see you. Yeah. Great. All right. That's all we got for the day. Uh, we love you. Miss you. What number is this? 28? I think it's 9. 9. 9. Happy Seems nine. like 29. Yeah, here we go. All right. Adios.